Chapter 2 The Dangerous Journey Begins George and his grandparents set off on their journey to Virginia with the heaviness of the world on their shoulders. The roads were once clamoring with life, however, presently, they are abandoned, and the main sounds are the far-off alarms of crisis vehicles. The apprehension about the obscure was discernible in the air, and it was apparent in the essences of everybody they encountered. As they moved toward the bridge to Staten Island, George's telephone rang, and he answered it to find Jada on the other end in a state of distress. She informed him that her dad had been bitten by someone and was now attempting to hurt her. The journey had just become more dangerous, and George realized he needed to move quickly. At the point when they showed up at Jada's home, the entryway was open, and blood was scattered on the floor. The hairs on the back of George's neck stood up, and he warily went into the house with his grandparents, weapons close by. The scene that greeted them was one of horror, with broken furniture dispersed about and a path of blood prompting the basement. The dad rose out of the downstairs basement, running at George with a growl, his eyes currently dark and his skin pale. George responded rapidly, shooting Jada's father without a second thought. Jada and her mom rose out of their room, crying and appreciative of being rescued. They immediately assembled what they could and set off on their journey. The journey was treacherous, with upset vehicles and trash littering the streets, making it challenging to explore. Along the way, they encountered various survivors, some pleading for help, and others who had transformed into mindless animals, pursuing anything in their path. George needed to make split-second decisions, attempting to figure out whom they could trust and who represented a danger. He was a quick thinker, and his tactical military foundation trained him to constantly be careful. The road ahead was uncertain, and the dangers they faced were numerous. Be that as it may, he was determined to keep those he loved safe and would stop at nothing to ensure their survival. The journey had just barely started, and the road ahead was long and dangerous, yet George and his group were prepared for what may lay ahead.